from VOA Learning English, this is the Science Report. The Blue Point Oyster is returning to the Great South Bay of New York after almost disappearing from the world marketplace. Over harvesting, pollution, and Hurricane Sandy had severely damaged the Blue Point Oyster business. Now, the population is growing on the coast of Long Island, about 100 kilometers from New York City. When the huge ocean storm called Sandy hit Long Island in 2013, it destroyed the Blue Point Oyster beds. John Cochran is a councilman in the town of Islip. He helped pass a measure to rent 1,200 hectares of the Great South Bay to shellfish businesses. 23 local fishermen, including the Cochran family, have signed up so far. The Great Atlantic Shellfish Farms Company will be a major part of regrowing the oyster population in the Great South Bay. Marty Burns is an aquaculturist with the company. He is responsible for getting adult oysters to spawn, lay eggs, and produce larvae that turn into millions of oysters. He puts them in large tanks filled with salt water. The larvae absorb their food for about two and a half weeks. After six weeks, many millions of these little oysters are taken to farms in the bay and placed in wire boxes to grow. In 18 months, these oysters will be ready for market. Doug Winter is president of Great Atlantic. He says the business is much better than the bay bottom harvesting of the 1800s. Mr. Winter says people can produce a lot more oysters in an environmentally friendly way. And the oysters are not just good to eat, they are also good for the water. Each oyster filters more than 150 liters of water a day, removing algae and nitrogen. For VOA Learning English, I'm Carolyn Prasuti.